Johnny. Right. Okay. Hello and uh, welcome to this conference. Uh, us with uh, messy browsers. I'm here to give you some tips and tricks on how to organize your browser. At least that's what I'm hoping to achieve here today. <clears throat> yeah. Because <clears throat> let's face it, a messy browser can be both frustrating and time consuming. That's why you're here, isn't it? Because just like me, you've put on hold organizing your browser the proper way. You could be more efficient, but you'll look into it tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna do something about it, and you're welcome to join me while I'm trying to organize my browser properly. For the good of my sanity. Whichever browser you're using, or whatever tools you are in need of, I guess we all can agree that it's important to make a structure that makes things easy on a day-to-day -day basis. That's where we're gonna set the bar, really, like entrance level stuff. <laughs> How can we make our day just a little bit more effective. That's my goal, at least. I'll start with bookmarks. So I believe it's important to get a system for your bookmarks, even though I don't really have it myself. But that's why I'm making this video. Just to give an example, a parallel for me would be how I organize my folders that are connected to my video content. So I'll have several major folders like this, and I'll have different subfolders in the next layer. I won't go that far with my bookmarks, but the goal is to categorize it to some extent. First off, I'll navigate to the bookmarks menu. And by the way, that was just one way of doing it. <laughs> so some of my bookmarks are already categorized. And for the purpose of this video, I actually found bookmarks that I need. So first off, I've already put the Vivaldi social media platforms in one folder, so I can easily access that. The other folder here is just Vivaldi features, community and webmail, stuff I usually need anyway. So I'll, I have just put it under a uh, Vivaldi folder, basically. They could probably be in the same folder. That would be easier. But for me, that's purely social media in the first one. And then there's like more technical stuff in the second one. It makes sense for me, okay? <laughs> so I have some bookmarks for work and I have some bookmarks just for news, uh, getting up to date, stuff like that. Things I like to listen to. So a bookmark for a stock page, big stonks, and then more work bookmarks, basically. So, and yeah, never mind. Never mind that number to be fair though i i usually like every three months clean up my email just saying <laughs> so i thought i would start off with putting the relatable bookmarks in the same folder so i'll create a, a folder for the news pages i'll just rename it news and then i'll put all my news sites in that one folder. Yeah, I didn't do it this time, but I can uh, of course just like control click all and mark all the all the, all the bookmarks I want and drag them in. It's probably the same with Firefox and Brave and stuff as well. Anyways, this is how you do it in Vivaldi. So maybe you've seen this before, maybe it's new to you. So well, I'll serve it to you with a teaspoon. So I'll just organize the rest of my, my bookmarks. All right, so I have categorized most of it anyways. So I've put one in films and series. That's it's work in progress. I'm creating folders because as I browse, I will be more active thinking, hey, I can bookmark this and I can put it in a folder instead of just having like tons of bookmarks that are uncategorized and it's basically just in the way. That's the thought anyways. And then we have bookmarks, nomad bookmarks, bookmarks that has no place in the world. The reason they are just single bookmarks right now is because I want to show you uh, what you can do with it. On the right side here, you have the address, which you need, of course, and then you can set a nickname. So I'll, oops, so you can set a nickname. So if I click on YouTube, I go to even more to the right and then hover over, hover over, hover over, where it says nickname, and I'll write YouTube without the E, just to get my point across, because I'm going to show you something in a minute. You can add a description if you want to, or you can have the, the standard description. I'm just going to remove it because I know what YouTube is. Uh, also, high quality GIFs. I've just nicknamed it GIFs. I think I'm going to rename it Memes just for fun. And then I have the stock page I was talking about. I'm going to remove the description. Again, I know what it is. And then I'm just going to call it Stonks. I have three bookmarks with nicknames. And now I'm going to show you. If we go to the store page and I write down Stonks, it's a suggestion with the search uh, engine, of course. It also shows me the bookmarks directly in the search bar. So I can just click on it and then I'll go straight to uh, same with the uh, memes, if I can write it correctly. Go straight to uh, high quality GIFs. And of course, YouTube. 
well should probably find a better nickname for it but anyways it's here uh bookmarks vivaldi youtube no sorry nickname <laughs> yeah that's what i guess for be trying to be categorized and organized but not really getting there i guess <laughs> it's a it's a step-by-step -step process okay next up speed dials one more thing i want to show you with the folders and stuff if we go to the start page again you can see that i have the vivaldi socials folder and vivaldi folder here on the start page i can add a new speed dial if i want to uh create it from scratch i can cl click on the plus sign since i already have some folders um i can add them to the start page so let's say uh let's keep it work related i'll just drag the work folder under the speed dial main category and then i'll go back to the start page and there it is there's my work folder and i can of course like move it around if i want to and finally tabs so in one way it's related with the tabs but at the same time it kind of stands alone the reason i say it's related is because like with the bookmarks you can have it in a folder and stuff and the same thing you can do kind of with uh, the tabs or the tab stacking so i'll show you i'll just open all my uh, bookmarks for the vivaldi socials and i'll open all my bookmarks for the in the work folder you can drag and drop whichever tabs i want to group up so i'll drag and drop all the vivaldi socials in one tab so i'll create a double tab stack with all the um, social media of Vivaldi. If I want to, I can uh, rename the tab stack and and do some some other stuff with it to customize it. And then I'll do the same for the work related sites, which is pure work, kind of a different category. <laughs> uh, and I'll just go on to regular YouTube. So I have YouTube page and then I have two different tab stacks, one for the Vivaldi socials and one for Vivaldi work related sites. So for me, this is a good way to organize uh, kind of an organized browser to begin with. So again, if I want to read all the news, I can um, do the same here. News, work and more work. <laughs> but still it makes sense for me okay so whatever makes sense for you that's what's important and we all have different levels of advancements or yeah how advanced we want it to be basically so whatever floats your boat really i think that's one of the most important things to to remember here and yeah this is like the first video of me trying to be more organized and i hope this kind of helped you in some way there is so many things to explore in this browser that i i need time <laughs> and uh one way of of getting to know the browser even more is to to create videos about it and and go down the road with you guys if you have any tips if you have anything you want me to like explore more or explain more feel free to leave a comment thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one Skål!